Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a web service. Okay, so first, uh, first I will create a web service first. So the web service needs to be created with a function model. The first thing you have to do is you have to create a function model that is uh, that has a remote enabled function model. So how would I create one? So first I'll go to SEAT. Okay. Uh, first, I'll go and create a function group. Okay, so, so, so I have, I'll create a new function group. Okay, so here you can see function group and I'll say yes and I'll say test for, test for suppose company group. Okay, so I want the function group and the function module to return all the company code uh, list. So what I'm going to do, I'll just make it local object, okay? And here I'll click, right click on it, I click function model, okay? So here I'll just put another, I'll put another name, the same name. So we set this, and I'll put test for company codes, okay? Now once we have done this. So we have created this function module. Now I'll give a parameter. So suppose I put flag and I'll put type and I'll put care one. Okay. And here I have will be putting in attributes remote enable function model. Okay. And in the ex in the tables portion, I'll put a company and it would be like and it would be D001. Okay, so that's it and now if I try to activate it it says see in RFC modules only parameters with pass by value are allowed this is very important so you go to import and here you will see pass by value okay and here I activated it okay so now I'll put the code here okay so I'll say if flag equals if full stop and then what I'm going to do is I'll say select start into a company um, D001 so that's it and I'll just now what I'm going to do is I'll save this and I need to activate the function group. I'm not activating the function model. You have to do it like this way. So what I can do is I'll go in display mode. I click here and I click on activate. And here you can see all these things. And I click enter and everything gets activated. So now I'll just test it how it works. Okay. So I'll say yes, that's fine. And we'll put X. Okay moment I put X and here you can see all my entries are there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a web service from it how will I create a web service so I go to the function group okay I'm in the function group I put utilities and more utilities create web service from function model and here I'll just minimize this and I'll put ZSD 11 comp. So let's test. Okay. test company code. Okay, and we click continue. And I'll say click continue. The next one, I'll just select the transport. I'll create a local object. If you want, you can create a transport. So here, Oh, here you have to choose the authorization level so generally what we select is this one user with users and password and transport guarantee and then the next one I'll select local object okay and that's it and we'll say click continue and now this is the web service after this you have to do some configuration in SOA manager to use it but for this generally this that that piece is generally done by the um, basis team because they own it but here so once you give this web definition they will create the web service and then 
that's it it's pretty easy uh, so this covers everything how to create a web service from the function module very important nt web service that uses a function module needs to be rfc and that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy cp learning and have a great